So it's a, uh, it's 1.27 acres in uh, Sulphur Springs, Texas. It's also a pier and beam. Um, it's a three bedroom, three bath. Um, it's old, it needs some more stuff. They've done, it's like they've done a, a lot of things, but there's a lot of things they haven't done. But it's got two other structures on the property. Um, one is, I mean, they just look like, like metal buildings kind of, but one is uh, 300, 350 square feet and they're, saying it's uh, two rooms and a bath um, and the other one's a big open room with a bath and both mm -hmm. of these have little kitchenette where they're just like a, a sink and a microwave basically um, mm -hmm. they're uh, air conditioned and, and things um, the, the, the one that they're using as a game room is just a big open thing uh, with a pool table in it and a big screen <laughs> But the house, the house itself is looking kind of rough. And then I think they've got like a, what looks like a, um, like they've connected the two buildings together with like a middle section. So I, I don't even <laughs> know how to comp that. Yeah, you got a unique property. <laughs> so. They're asking uh, 195. The house was built in 1935, the main house. But the other two look like metal-sided um, newer structures. Probably those other two, Heather, are not, um, they're not, you know, legal. <laughs> they're non-conforming structures based on what you're describing. You probably just use as a comp the single property, the, the big one. But what's the, 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 my next question is, what would be the rent for all three? Yeah. Um, I mean, can you actually rent those other ones out as, as a microwave and a sink? <laughs> enough yeah, to... you can, sure you can. Studios, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, especially if they're legal. But if they're not, you know, and you're out in the middle of nowhere, in some of these places, they don't care whether it's legal or not. And right. if you're buying, if you if you got a really good deal and it's a rental only and you don't have to go resell it, you're going to keep it forever as a rental, then rent them out. Hmm. Okay. Just extra income for you. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's all I got. If you're going to resell it in some form or fashion, whether it's you want to wholesale it and sell it to a rehabber or you want to lease option it or you want to sell it with seller financing, then the, the permitted uh, uses and structures are important. If you're going to buy it and just keep it forever as a rental, rentals, then it's not important or not as important, I guess. It'd be important if you ever go to refinance it. But as just a pure cash flow deal, you know, oh well, just keep going.